there to be able to do those things. Get that to them as soon as possible so we can get that number back so we can make some decisions and go forward from there. Okay? But again, at that point, we'll have to, have to make a decision. Okay? Another branch that we want to put on the tree. How long would it take to get that? One day. One day. One day. I think they're eager. So, so we'll get the letter. <laughs> I don't even need a letter. I know what to do. Does <laughs> <laughs> anyone have any strong comments about any of Yeah, that's a good question. Does anyone, does either one of the providers have any comment that you really would like to make about what you're hearing, about the direction that the commission is working in right now? The quote included. Negative or uh, positive? When you talk about the quote, like for a service center as well, what would we charge residents in a service center? I heard someone say something about providing at a, a service center. Yes, sir. Doing that for free. Well, I, I think, like I said, to me, what's important to me is having those four items, the bulky items, the yard waste, the household, and the recycling, those four items, then the customer being able to get rid of those four items. Whether they bring it to you or whether they get it picked up at the curbside, which I think we all agree, the household curbside is kind of where they're going to go in. The other three items, if you have a collection center, you need to be able to, your price needs to include people bringing those items to you. Yeah. And I think, you know, okay. I think we're all- Curbside, if you've got a customer. If you have a curbside customer, that you pick up their household trash. Include his pricing, his monthly it, 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 pricing it, in with- it, The yes, use of your collection center. If you, choose to, if you choose to operate a collection center, whoever your customer is that you have curbside household garbage picked up on, they would be able to go to that collection center at no charge. That would include. If they want to take it to you, then they, that's no charge to them. Right. However, if you've got someone that just doesn't have the ability to take it to the collection center, then they can call you and then you can charge them whatever your rate might be for you to go and pick it up yes. at, the, at their curbside. Over and above your household fees right. to charge everybody in the county. But that rate would have to be the same too. You wouldn't be able to, to fluctuate that curbside pickup rate for bulky items. I think, I think that to me, that's they have an option. As long as we, as long as we provide them an option, as long as they have an option to take their bulky items, jar waste, and recycle somewhere for free, then at that point, if they want to ask for additional services, it ought to be whatever they, whatever they want to charge for. Because so, and then we don't need to know that. We don't. All we need to know is what you charge your customers to pick up their household trash curbside and allow them to use your collection center. Your collection center, basically, you would be using a collection center provided to it for an added service for your customer. That's the way I would see it. It's just if they choose to go to the collection center with it or if they choose to pay you to pick it up the curbside. Well, I was or just trying to rope in. I mean, because in that, in that theory, Say, or whomever could say, I'm picking up your household garbage. I don't have a collection center. Right. If you want me to come pick up your your limbs and trimming, it's going to be forty five dollars a trip. And then well, I, I pick I that person out. They don't have a vehicle to take it. And they don't have a collection center to take it to. I agree. That's the reason. If you don't have, in, in my opinion, if you <coughs> are picking up their curbside household garbage. You gotta either offer them a collection center or you gotta offer that pick up the curbside. Now, if you do not offer a collection center, the only choice to have is curbside pick up from you or those other items, and that is built into your price too. So if you're willing to pick up the other yeah, the other three items I see what you're saying. Okay. at their house, you know, the curbside, then mm -hmm. you, that needs to be in your uniform fee that you charge everybody in the county the same price for. Yeah. But if you have a collection center where they can take you to, then your uniform fee needs to be just for your household curbside people. How about for customers that's not or people that's not our customers that want to come to our then you can then charge, charge you can charge, charge, charge. Okay. Say charge the rate. If Nancy got a cur curbside customer, but they bring they want to bring their mattress to you. Yeah, mattress to you because it's close to it's more convenient for them. Okay. And you can charge them whatever you want to charge that mattress. 
Exactly. Because there will be other opportunities. I, you know, this is just me, but I see other opportunities for for the providers for other business because you're de we're dealing with unincorporated Lambs County as far as what we're trying to accomplish here. The reality is there's a lot of other folks in the in the municipalities as well as in other bordering counties that may want to come and get rid of the grid. Right. So they'll be able to come and that's the charge that, that you'll be able to charge them. That's of just me. City of Dallas people. Yeah, I just want to get rid of it Saturday when it's cut yeah, up and sure. be done with it. And it may be something called charges a yearly fee to them, or maybe something to charge on a bank, uh, whatever. I mean, that's, we don't want to get into that. That's y'all. Okay. I think we got that. I think we're clear. I don't know if we address this general, but I think I saw someone when you were interested in reducing the bonding in 250, 250. Again, that, that doesn't have anything to do with this at this point. That's something that we're going to, once we make a decision that this is where we're going and that mm -hmm. we're going to then, and then, with the contract that we currently have that is as disposable, we can all get that to happen. 